Welcome to Main East Quarant Talks, the show where Main East Blue Demons stay connected through the quarantine. Welcome to Main East Quarant Talks. I'm your host, Stephanie Cruz. Today we are joined by my artistic teacher, the one and only Miss Eisenberg. To discuss all things quarantine, please welcome Miss Eisenberg. Hi, Stephanie. Thanks Hi. for having me on. Thank you for being here. So, Miss Eisenberg, how are you doing and how's your family doing? Uh, we're managing. You know, this isn't ideal. Um, it's kind of hard to be an art teacher from here when I don't get to see your art in person um, and help each student individually one-on-one -on -one, the way we would normally in a class. But we're doing what we can. Um, my little second grader is doing some e-learning. I'm, I know he misses his friends. So mm -hmm. we're trying to do the best we can. At least we all still have our health, right? Yep. Yep. I hear you. So what's something about school you're missing that you didn't actually think you'd miss? I miss, well, I knew I would miss all of you guys. I really miss the one-on-one -on -one interactions, the goofballs that make me laugh every day, the sarcasm. Um, I miss the little things that I learned from the weird conversations you guys have amongst each other about YouTube, about Snapchat, about TikTok. I mean, things I, I feel like I was so much cooler when I got to hear all that stuff because I understood your world a little better than I do now. Um, yeah, I miss the random conversations you guys have in class. I miss that too. Yeah. <laughs> So what is the best book you've read or the best thing you've watched? Oh, um, I'm reading a book right now. And in fact, I have it right here. Um, it's really good. I'm on this whole Nazi thing right now, like bad Nazis. Mm -hmm. So this is the book. It's called Mother Night. Um, and it's a translation of uh, Nazi that was being tried in Israel. And it's like translating his his diary, basically. Turns out he was a spy for the U.S., but he was still getting tried. In terms of what we've been watching, um, what are we watching now? I'm trying to think. Um, we've been watching a lot of stuff. All the, net, you know, uh, Little Fires Everywhere. That was really good. Um, we're watching Ozark. That's okay. dark and crazy. Mm -hmm. And f and I read the book years ago, but we finally started watching Handmaid's Tale, which is weird because it kind of reminds me of what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, how everything changed so fast and there was this lockdown and all of a sudden all our lives were flipped upside down. So there's parallels, which kind of creeps me out. So I had to take a break. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah. So what is your go-to? I don't know what to do, so I guess I'll do this activity. Making art. Wow. I am making so much art. Um, every day at 5 p.m., my son Zooms with all his little buddies, and they all play video games. Mm -hmm. So from 5 until 7, I just lock myself away, and I make art. Can you show us one of your recent artworks? Uh, yeah, hold on. Um, can I leave you here for just one second? I just finished it yesterday, so hold on. Okay, I didn't take the um, computer with me because my internet is dodgy in my studio. So um, I've been focusing on making isolation art, so art where there's no people. Mm -hmm. So this is one I just did. Wow, that's so pretty. Um, and that is from a trip I took years ago when we went to Peru to the Caracas and then this one here. Wow. That is from a trip that we took to Southern France. And um, yeah, so I'm like going back through all my old vacation photos and um, yeah, just like getting, like taking people out of them and just mm -hmm. landscapes. So like kind of like isolation art. Uh, but it's been, it's been therapy. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what's your go-to quarantine snack food? Oh, God. Um, cheese. Cheese? <laughs> I love cheese. I can eat cheese all day long. Yes. Um, yeah, cheese. 
Jeez. <laughs> good, that's good. What is something you've done that you're not particularly proud of during quarantine? Um, eat too much. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like when you're home all day, it's really easy to just go to your refrigerator and eat. Um, but I'm trying to get my runs in when I can, when the weather behaves. So I don't know, balancing it out, <laughs> yeah. trying. What is the first thing you want to do when quarantine finally ends? Go on a vacation. Oh, yeah. I We had to cancel our um, vacation to Portugal, which was heartbreaking. Um, so I know if we can't go on vacation right away, um, I'd like to go get my nails done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, what is the, your message to all the students and staff at Mainies, more particularly our seniors? Oh, God. You know, this is, this is going to be over. This is going to, this is not forever. Um, every generation, there's a big hiccup and you're going to live through this. You're going to learn from it. You're going to learn to appreciate the things that you may have taken for granted before. Um, I know I am doing so right now. Um, and I think hopefully you're going to realize that sometimes it's okay to be in solitude, that you can find peace. Yeah. I'm really sorry, seniors. I know this is not the way you wanted to end your year. Yeah, it was um, it was hard. I mean, it's hard, but yeah, it's okay. This will pass. That just means when you graduate college, you have to throw a really, really big, massive party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Miss Eisenberg, thank you so much for letting me interview you. Um, it was nice hearing you and knowing what you've been doing. Uh, Absolutely. So, that's going to do it for today, and. On Main News Point Talks, thank you so much to our guest, Ms. Eisenberg. I'm your host, Stephanie Cruz. Please stay healthy and safe.